What's up YouTube? Happy Tuesday. I'm gonna be heading out in a few moments. I have to travel to Albany for work for a few days. So I thought, why not bring the YouTubes along? So you guys are going to join me on my work travels. Can't film while I'm working obviously, but I'm gonna show you how to stay on track while traveling. I have a lot of people that reach out to me that travel a lot for work and that often includes social events, eating out, and it's hard to be prepared or to know how to balance that all in terms of, you know, when do you pack your meals versus just being able to eat out and enjoy it but yet still see results. So I hope to show you guys some tips and tricks throughout this vlog and hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed before I don't know, before we continue this vlog, just like check it out, make sure you're subscribed. I don't know what else to say. Hit the notification bell if you want. Let's get going. He's not impressed that I'm leaving. He knows I'm leaving. I took him for a walk, but he's refusing to eat for me and he's been like, giving me sad face all day. Even his nose is dripping. He knows I'm leaving because I got my suitcase out this morning and he now knows what the suitcase means and he's not happy. I've got this entire mess for a three day trip. I've got my laptop. I have, um, let's throw that bukkake in there. This bag I'm gonna put together here that Jason got me for Christmas from Six Pack Bags. It's like a yoga travel fit bag. So up top, it's like you can do lifestyle up there. And then in the bottom section, there's this little cooler part. I'm gonna put my ice packs in. And then I've got two Tupperwares here with turkey burgers that I'm gonna pack in there. I've got some yogurt. I've got some gingerbread oatmeal to take along the way. Those are amazing if you haven't tried them. Seasonal AF. Um, Jason hooked me up and helped me out packaging up my little toppings and all the accoutrements I need for my vegan brownie bowl because I'm just going to be real with you. The reality of me going, sorry, my hair is like halfway done. The reality of me not having anything sweet for three days, it's just not realistic. I know this about me. I'm going to set myself up for failure if I don't prepare to have something with me that can be a somewhat healthier alternative. So my brownie bowl always does the trick for me. I have a microwave and a fridge in the room, at least that's what they tell me. So this will be perfect. So I'm not tempted by all the Whole Foods desserts because I plan on going to Whole Foods. So I've got the brownie bowls. These little MTS um, travel silverware are heavenly. Little travel pack of ruckus for some pre-workout because I'm gonna work out while I'm there. Got some Quest chips. I'm gonna bring my machine whey, the pumpkin pie with me and a shaker cup. So that's really all I'm gonna need because New York State is paying for a little bit of my meal. So I'm gonna take advantage of that as well. Um, uh, what else do I got? I got supplements, I'm good to go. So we're gonna head out. I have to go straight to my conference and then check into the hotel after. That's it, let's go. Not you though, sorry, you gotta stay here. When you're only leaving for three days and two nights, we've got a suitcase, laptop, makeup bag, food bag, purse filled with all kinds of junk, and we are ready to rock and roll. Warning, I'm about to use some language, so if you've got kids around, then tone it down. But I'm gonna fucking kill my husband. I just screamed and almost shit my pants because when I opened the car door, this fucking zombie. Oh my God, now you got the dog barking, Jason. That zombie has been creeping me out every single day. It keeps randomly going off. And I literally just fucking screamed. Oh my God, it's still taunting me in there. 
I'm gonna get you back, Jason. I'm gonna get you back. So I asked you guys what you wanted to see while I'm traveling, what you wanted to know more about, and someone asked um, how to stay focused on your goals and stay disciplined while you're traveling. So one of the first things I recommend that I did today before traveling or as much as possible, try to still stay within your normal routine. So just because you're traveling, whether it's work or vacation, um, there's no need to change your entire routine. Working out for me, for example, it's just part of my day-to-day -day routine. It's not something I typically have to convince myself of because I'm used to that being part of my lifestyle. So with traveling today, I made sure I got up a little bit earlier than normal to get myself to the gym, to work out, get my workout in, because I knew there'd be no way I'm gonna realistically wanna work out after my conference today. So I got up, I made sure I still got my workout in, and also, as you guys already saw, sorry about the lighting, I made sure that I didn't uh, just wing it with food thanks to the help of my husband. That's never a good idea as much as I like to convince myself like it'll be fine I'll make good choices. There's always a way to make good choices, which I totally believe in But you also don't want to set yourself up for failure. So um, Having protein prepped I think always helps because that to me is the area that you most easily end up eating less of when you're traveling It's just easier to eat carbs. They're a bit more um, portable a bit more non-perishable. So for me to travel and have some easy, quick protein options on the go, I think will help also keep me successful. Um, and in terms of just staying driven towards your goals, just thinking about like what your overall goal is. Like, you know, for me, I'm in that point where like my overall goal is just to be healthy and feel healthy right now. And you guys know I'm working a little, I'm trying to work a little bit harder now that I'm not sick to, um, you know, maybe look and feel even better for my vacation. And that's, you know, uh, it's still for me as like lifestyle. Like it's not really anything too different than my norm. So I know that's, this is not like, an, uh, I don't know, a helpful answer maybe for people, but I think it's just the stronger your routines are, the easier it is when you travel. You know, if you're someone that every time you travel or go somewhere, you find yourself making bad choices, that's a routine that you've gotten yourself in that you need to get yourself out of. It's all about getting those good habits in place. And the more you practice and utilize that front brain with discipline, and I'm not being like a, a discipline like cop or anything, like I'm not perfect. You guys know I like to eat junk and stuff too. But the more you practice utilizing that self-control and discipline, truly the easier it gets. So the easier it gets when you're presented with options like donuts or fast food, it's easier for you to make the decision. And sometimes you're gonna make the decision that you wanna eat the donut, and that's totally fine. Make the decision because you love donuts and be good with it and move on with your life. Um, it shouldn't be a stressful scenario. Um, and that can be a hard place to get to, but I think, you know, the more you feel like you're, it, the more easier, I don't know, it's so hard to explain, but the more it becomes part of your lifestyle, the easier it becomes to I guess stay in control or stay on track with your goals because it just becomes part of you. I don't know. Hopefully that makes some sense. We're on the road headed to Albany, New York. I go to Albany for work on occasion because um, that's where the Office of Mental Health is based out of. That's the state capital. So any like government positions, oftentimes your, you know, governing agency is going to be in Albany here in New York State. So that's where we're off to. It's actually a super gorgeous drive, so I ain't mad about it. And I'm going to continue listening to my audiobook, Girl, Wash Your Face. So far, so good on that. I will see you guys later. Day one of training done, and I just checked into my hotel. Nothing fancy with New York State, um, especially since I got this set up late. So I'm just staying at Hampton Inn. It is just your basic. King size bed though. All for a little old me. I ain't mad. Oh, that was a sad little, that was a sad little hop. But I am going to unpack 
and gotta get my glasses on because my eyes are driving me nuts. And then I'm gonna go meet one of my friends for dinner who actually lives locally. She was one of my bridesmaids, one of my college besties, and I haven't seen her in a long time. So it's just kind of like crazy. The older you get and you think about your friends and how frequently you keep in touch or grow apart, but yet you're still friends, you know what I mean? And you can always still get together and connect. So I'm excited to take advantage of that. Um, I did not eat much today. I had a yogurt and some nuts during the training, so that's one way to stay on track. Um, but there's actually a Core Life eatery here that she's never been to. That just so happens to be one of my favorite places to eat at, which is so super healthy and easy to eat at, easy to stay on track. So there's another tip for you. Go somewhere that you know it's easy to stay on track. And core, you really can't get too far off track there. There's nothing too unhealthy you can order. There's no like junk food there. It's all fresh foods, salads, homemade soups, dressings, things of that nature. Not saying you can't go high calorie with bacons and cheeses and, and dressings, but you can order healthy and whole foods there. So it's a great choice. So I'm gonna go meet her there in a little bit, eat some food, catch up, have some girl time. Should be good. It's all right guys, cause I'm saved by the bail. Sorry for the shaky cam. I am going to wind down for the night. I've got one of those things going on right now where I feel like exhausted, like my head feels tired, yet I don't feel like I can sleep. You don't really know till you try, and half the time when I think I can't, I don't know why I'm doing air quotes, when I think I can't fall asleep and I get in bed, I normally can. So that's what we're gonna do. I cleaned my face, got in my little pajamas, and I first wanted to share with you a few things I picked up from Whole Foods tonight. I went kind of like just to scope things out because this is the closest Whole Foods to me. So it's like two hours away. So anytime I come here for work, I always try to like grab good things. And I will be the first to say it, Trader Joe's, you've got some competition because I'm gonna go out on a line here, on a line, on a limb. I don't know, I'm going somewhere and I'm gonna tell you that Whole Foods kicks Trader Joe's butt in the seasonal department. They not only have all things pumpkin, they also have this whole maple um, flavored section of goodies, which like, hello, I'm Canadian. We love maple everything. Maple candy, maple butter, like just put maple on everything, please. So I was very, very impressed. So if you guys are near Whole Foods, I would go there for your goodies. But I just picked up a few things and then I'm totally gonna clean up shop before I head home to Syracuse. But here's what your girl got. First things first, I needed some almond milk for my protein brownies, but I'm not making one of those guys tonight. I had my core, I didn't film at dinner because I was just hanging out with Becky, but my dinner was so filling. I got grilled chicken, which definitely had seasoning on it, was salty, with some root vegetables, like a whole heap of them, and salad with broccoli. It was definitely like, like I had a very high fat day today and I'm so full from it. I really enjoy that. Sometimes I like switching it up and doing a little bit higher fat. I might lower the carb just to keep my calories the same. And that's just what worked for me today. So you can always do that as an option. But anyways, I digress. Almond milk, I'm gonna put that in my little fridge here. I just have a basic little, uh, ooh, ooh. Got a fridge here. I already have some Greek yogurts in there. And are you gonna fit? And my turkey burgers. Then I hooked it up with a fruit boat. If you guys watch my New York City vlog, this giant fruit boat, which you might think I'm crazy, but 10 bucks, I don't think is bad at all. I've got all this beautiful fresh fruit. If I get hungry, I might, I might snack on a couple of those tonight. But I plan on having some of that for breakfast the next couple days, maybe dessert. Check this out. I grabbed maple vanilla whip topping. You guys know me. I use whip topping. It doesn't have to be fat free. I use that shit in moderation. They also have pumpkin spice, so I might have to get that too. I don't know yet. But if you guys haven't had this brand yet of hummus, they make dessert hummuses. Hummuses? Is hummuses a word? I'm not sure, but we're using it tonight. They have pumpkin pie hummus. 
So, made with chickpeas, obviously. Oh god, you can't see that. Uh, nutritionals, where are you at? Where are you at, though? In case you care, two tablespoons, uh, two and a half fats, uh, eight carb, and like one protein. Uh, be careful with how much of you, how much you guys eat of hummus, because I can eat an entire container. And while it may be healthy in moderation, you may not want to eat the entire thing. But I was trying to think, what can I dip in this pumpkin pie hummus? And then, lo and behold, was the seasonal uh, end cap with these maple cookie thins. Limited edition. Check out these macros, though, you guys. Okay, are they health? No, they're not health, but cookies are delicious. Uh, nine cookies, 28 grams worth. Three and a half fat, 18 carb. Nine grams of sugar, but you know what? One serving of these dipped in some hummus may take a sweet tooth to another level. So while you may be quick to say, Kara, you're buying, uh, you're buying processed stuff, you're buying stuff high in sugar, you gotta kinda look at things in perspective here, kids. If it's, look at your whole week. How are you eating? Are you only eating cookies and whipped cream? Yeah, maybe that's a problem. But Clearly, that's not how I eat. I like to have a little something sweet to satisfy that sweet tooth and keep my seasonal basic stuff in there. So I'm living my best life. And then I grabbed this. Um, not that I don't have flax and chia at home, but it's freaking maple, maple, vanilla maple flavor. Hello. This is going in my Greek yogurt tomorrow. I'll probably do my Greek yogurt with a tablespoon or two tablespoons and then some of that yo some blah, 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 some of that fruit. Clearly I can't talk, so we're gonna end this vlog. I also grabbed some Topo Chico, which Miss Heidi Summers introduced me to. I didn't realize they sold it um at Whole Foods, but it's delicious, very hydrating. And I grabbed that and oh wait, lastly, uh my sister got me on a kick where if you go somewhere, buy yourself your own hand soap. So we're gonna put that in the bathroom and then you can actually have good hand soap and not like the shitty, stinky hotel soap. That is gonna conclude the evening. Day two of the conference. I am rushing on my way in and I'm treating myself to a monster this morning because I could not sleep last night. So that's where we're at, looking, looking rough. <laughs> Ooh, just got back from my training. It's like five o'clock right now been a busy day. We had a full day of like different speakers and it was just so, so good. Um, just really great topics. Um, in particular, we had like a head of pharmacy discussing like metabolic adaptations that occur with some of our patients in the Office of Mental Health System, just psychiatric patients, the medications they're on, metabolic impacts and how as dietitians or the nutrition departments can assist and you know be part of the change so that was really cool and then the last discussion was on um like neuroscience and nutritional connections there so we talked a lot about brain health we talked about gut health we talked about all those interactions and i really really enjoyed that dietitian she actually came up from oregon i think um that was just so good. So anyways, I'm back at the room now. I'm going to relax a little bit. I'm kind of undecided what I'm going to do. If I'm going to take today as a rest day or not. I just checked out my gym fitness center and it's literally a treadmill, a cross trainer, and a recumbent bike. And that's it. Oh my God. I was hoping they'd at least have like, you know, some type of selection of weights and I was going to Film like a little full body workout for you guys, but doesn't look like that's happening. So, and I may go out to dinner tonight with a few of my colleagues. Um, I was going to be a little hermit and just stand by myself in peace and quiet. But then like you get talking to people who understand what you do and it's just nice and it's refreshing. And I also love like the hearing from other people and just learning from them like, I feel like every dietitian is so so different yet so similar there's always something to be learned and gained from you know having those discussions with other people it's always cool to hear what other people are doing and how they handle certain people um in different topics so i don't know my plans are up in the air right now all i know is i'm looking a little haggard and tired so i might 
just kind of like rest. I'm not going to nap. I might rest a little bit. Um, tomorrow on my agenda, for those that are into it, I'm taking the Serve Safe certification. Um, I've been Serve Safe certified since college and then I just do like a one day like refresher training so you're supposed to actually have the whole book read when you go into the training because at the end of the day I'll take the test and since I don't work in the nutrition department I'm a little out of touch with some food service not the principles the principles remain the same but some of like the guidelines with like temperatures and storage things like that I'm just I haven't used it in a bit so I have to like find it up in here and pull it out of my memory. So I might try to read up on that a little bit tonight just so I'm not like totally um, wrecking my brain tomorrow. But that is where we're at right now. And just wanted to update you quick. I don't know, awkward transition. Bye. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I can see it. And it's probably gonna rain, and it is fucking windy and cool. This is the part of the vlog where Jason does a fashion haul for us. <laughs> He's opening my packages. Dropping your drawers on camera. Dropping your drawers. Don't drop your drawers. Got my Alpha Elite package. I bought my man and me some matching joggers. <laughs> Here are my joggers. My camos. Camo everything. Camo's life. Camo is life. I can't I'm see you. I on board with the camo. I've only been on board with the camo for, what, 20 years? I know. Me too, though. I've always loved camo I stuff. I really picked up to my style. I got you medium. Is that what you wear in Alphalete? I think so. I'm, I'm not large. No, I don't think you are either. And so we're making for a year. We put it on a boat, ship it to Brighter Nutrition, and they're going to ship it to everyone for us, which is... Awesome. Wednesday evening, I'm actually driving home now. I'm finished with all my work. Today was Serve Safe Day. I did my Serve Safe certification test. I don't know if I passed yet or not, but um, I didn't really vlog like as much as I wanted to because I just felt like things were moving so pa fast the past couple days. Like. And I was actually social, even though I planned to just like stay in my hotel and keep to myself. Um, I ended up going out and socializing and eating out more than I had planned, um, which happens when you travel. So I would say my biggest thing with that is just not letting it totally derail you. Like, yes, I, I planned great. I came with lots of prepared foods and I didn't end up needing most of them because I did end up eating out. But when I ate out, I did make healthy choices. Were they probably higher in fat, higher in salt? Yes. I'm probably not as hydrated as I normally am, so I'm feeling a little bit more like bloated from that. But that's okay. Like, don't let that derail you. Like, oh man, because I feel bloated, I'm just gonna like, you know, do myself in and hit up the Mickey D's on the way home. I'm actually snacking on my giant fruit boat leftovers as we speak um, just like listening to YouTube videos sometimes I like to do that when I drive I'm either doing like an audiobook or I will like play YouTube videos and I just won't watch them so I'll try to watch videos that I don't feel like I necessarily need to like look at which you guys probably relate to because I put up dietitian talks which you don't necessarily need to sit there and watch me talk but anyways I don't want to ramble too long I just wanted to check in and not sure if this is gonna end the vlog or not, but let me know if you found it helpful. I just thought I'd film because it was a little something different in the week of my life, managing, I mean, this is pretty much what the channel is all about, you guys, like managing work, family, stress, traveling, and your food and fitness and still living a healthy lifestyle. So I hope that I was still able to show you that it can be done. It's starting to get a little dark now. So I'm excited to head home, see the boys, and get a good night's sleep because I did not sleep well in that hotel. Oh, here's the other thing I was gonna mention too. I had wanted to, so I was gone. I left Tuesday, I worked out Tuesday. I didn't work out Wednesday. And then today I had wanted to work out this morning before I went to my training, but I did not end up sleeping well again last night and I felt 
like not even awake when I woke up this morning. So I decided, I made the decision to not work out this morning and I'm definitely not working out when I get home because it's gonna be eight o'clock at night. Not making excuses. It's about prioritizing and for me, I feel very like a little bit drained physically just from traveling and from being in the car, from sitting all day. As odd as it is, the more I sit, the more drained I feel. And I don't think I would have a great workout. I don't think it would have been a good use of my time today. And that's okay, that's okay to do. I'm gonna plan to go tomorrow morning and have a really good lift in the morning after a good night's sleep. So learn to be flexible, learn to adapt, and you guys will be just fine when you travel. But let me know if you have other questions below on how to stay on track when you travel, because that's honestly one of the most common questions I get, especially from clients and things like that, how to stay on track. So if there's something more specific you want to know, comment it below. And I'm going to get my butt home to my boys.